Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. It's another beautiful, warm, humid day here on the farm. But today, we are harvesting tomatoes. So we've been picking tomatoes out of this first high tunnel for about a month now, uh, 20 to 30 days for sure. We picked my first tomato on May 1st, and ever since then we've been picking uh, 50, 60, 70 pounds a week and taking them to farmer's market. I was actually uh, by myself here yesterday and we picked, I only picked three boxes and took those to farmer's market. And uh, we just got done picking these this morning. We got Moses, we got Jonna there. We're gonna continue picking here. And the big Dinas are coming on strong. They're nice, a lot of good, nice sized fruit. Looking really nice, looking really good. And uh, of course, Carolina Gold looking good as well. And then you got your big Dinas. These are Carolina Golds here, beautiful fruit. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. I'm having a little bit of a problem with my big Dinas here. I'm not sure what the uh, uneven ripening is all about. But then you pick a, big, a red deuce. You know, red deuce are just absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. But these big Dinas, some of that shouldering there is uneven ripening. I'm not sure if it's a nutritional deficiency or something. I mean, some tomatoes aren't too bad, but others are. So not really sure what is going on there. But slowly and surely we'll figure it out. So since we started harvesting... Uh, I haven't come through here yet and spray anything so I got to come through here probably today or tomorrow and spray for botrytis I'm seeing a little bit of botrytis on these tomatoes here And then I am seeing a little bit of some spider mite issue So and some white flies got to take that covered got to take care of that spider mites and aphids and Spider mites is what does this to the leaves here. So some of these top of the leaves are getting pretty bad with the spider mites the only downside to uh, spraying anything when you start harvesting is a lot of the good chemicals have a, a pretty extensive PHI. So if you spray, you can't come through there and harvest, you know, 10, 14 days on some of the good Midas side. So that's the only downside to this. There are a few that, you know, are broad spectrum and they work okay for, for mites. But mites is one of those deals that if you don't have a, a specific chemical for that, it's kind of hard to deal with just because it just kind of slows them down and it doesn't really do anything to, to prevent them. But that's the only downside of starting to harvest and some of the disease and, and insect issues is some of the stuff that you can spray, you can't really come through and spray yet just because, you know, if you spray, you can't harvest for 10 to 14 days and then you won't be able to harvest the crop at all for that period of time. So it's kind of a give take. The tomatoes keep on coming on little bit by a little bit every week and more and more. And then we're gonna get into the flush of harvest at the peak of this season of this tomato this tunnel here and we'll be picking five six seven hundred pounds a day out of this tunnel alone and then whenever we get done with this tunnel number two should be ready to go we got some good nice uh baseball sized tomatoes number two uh number three and then number four on Val's place is planted and then our number two here with the strawberries is closed up we're letting it burn up in there heat up and then we will plant our last batch of tomatoes probably next week or so and get those tomatoes going so yeah tomato harvest is upon us the thing i'll say about these indeterminate these big dina tomatoes are nice looking tomato the only thing is you don't really get a nice flush of of tomatoes come through and you can't harvest just because they're all growing at different stages and the plants can continue to keep on going on with these determinants uh, you get a, you know, they start harvesting, then you get a nice flush until all these uh, tomatoes are done for, and then you move on to the next tunnel. So for us here on our farm, I'd rather do that, and that's why I like to detrim it so much, is because you come to here, you harvest a lot for four to six weeks, and then you move on to a new tunnel, and then the tomato, the tunnel just kind of sits here. Uh, later on in the season, we just keep on letting the water and irrigation go, and they'll come back and flower a little bit for the fall. But that's the way we like to do things here on our farm is get a nice flush of, of heavy crop of tomatoes and then move on to the next tunnel. So yesterday I picked three boxes and today we picked a total of five, four and a half, five boxes. So that makes a total of 130 pounds for today and yesterday's picking. And we'll be back in here on Friday, pick again. And hopefully next week, we'll be, I mean, we'll be picking next week for sure. If we get a lot more sun, a lot more will ripen, but if we don't get as much sun, they don't ripen as quick. So that's just part of the process. So it is the next day, and uh, I left my GoPro on in the in the high tunnel there on a post and didn't touch since then. But uh, harvested tomatoes, and we'll be out here tomorrow again, tomorrow morning again, and be picking again. So we'll take a bunch of those uh, 
think in the farmer's market here in the farm store we were, were able to everything we picked so far we're able to get rid of pretty quickly within the week but as you guys can see here high tunnel number two is closed all the way so what, the, what i'm doing so this is our second day it's been closed like this so the plan and the goal for this right here is just to let the temperatures get so hot in there that it kind of bakes everything kind of naturally disinfects the entire tunnel so for pathogens and stuff in the soil i know if you're using a steam heater that you want to get to 160 degrees for at least half hour and that kills 95 percent of all diseases and stuff in the soil in the actual air and in on, on top of the stuff to burn plants i was just in there a couple uh about it, it was nine o'clock this morning and it was already 140 degrees in there it's almost noon now and it's uh it's blazing hot as you can see here the plastic from all the heat is starting to lift up here and push out the sides here that's how much heat is in there so uh it's hot i guarantee it's 140 150 degrees in now there pretty easily ah oh, man it, it's burning up in there but as you can see here that some of the plants there are um oh man <laughs> gopros fogging up they're burning up pretty nicely getting them nice and uh just letting everything toast and disinfect and die off there and then we shall uh be able to not have any more insect pressure hopefully all the disease and insects die off so we go through with our last crop of tomatoes in there tomatoes in the greenhouse are about six four to six inches tall now so hopefully next week we'll get this whole thing pull it out all the strawberries plant the last crop of tomatoes in there and we should be good to go for the rest of the summer so i've been busy all morning getting the cantaloupe field ready i uh brush hogged it and now i gotta get the plow we haven't had much rain here recently in the last week or so so that's good to get some stuff in the ground and uh for the next week or so we're not they're not calling for too much rain so that's good we'll get some all, everything out of the greenhouse planted and out of there so we can finally close that up and uh, let it do the same thing we're doing number two there but uh yeah it's been a busy week it's hot it's really humid it's really it's it's just muggy out here it's that time of year summers in missouri's are always fun and we got to put the shade cloth on number one here shade cloth is on in the greenhouse there but all kinds of sorts of fun stuff going on today but this is where i'm gonna go ahead and end off the video if you guys haven't already go and hit that subscribe and go and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever i do upload a video i want to say thanks for watching up to this point y'all have a good day and we will see you next time <music>